gotta check the skull. Hey, you seen that new movie with A.J. Make it happen. Send someone to Point Verdun to pick up my cash. Hold your horses, I'll get to you. Ah. Got something I can hang on Keep to this for safe. you? On my way. Call me if you need me.
<laughs> and all that cabinet. Whatever you Greetings say. and salutations and all that shit. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robodo? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm here and one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. Sonny Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you? Good to see you again, sir. I, I can't stay here. Mine. Stay in line. Out of it. You owe what you owe. Who is that? Well, oh, maybe have that person in a while you always come down and see me. Negotiating has done and gone, dipshit. You had your chance to make this right, you didn't take it. So what's happening here is on you. She's fucking kids I again. Don't belong stop, here. Please. I'm on your back trail.
Burke says you can help me keep the cops mellow. That true? Of course it is. I'm just getting a feel for how they do things around this precinct. But I can still make things happen. the sound of that let me know if you're okay it seems like no matter how much I work how where much does boy get to in, I'm quite over here too short. I'm just so damn tired then you look at I'm calling the police shops paying protection up to the boss I know where they are thanks for your help Fucking ears walking. Move. Know where you in, asshole? Like looking for a ghost. No sign of nobody. Yeah. Told you he was a.
Stock, give me a hand! I'm not fucking ready. <laughs> Ain't so tough now, are you? No reason to kill me. Don't be rude. Miss? My dog's gonna love violating your corpse. Get behind him! Got behind him! Just you and me now! Say what you. No one's paying up the sunny blue. It's really fucked him up with the butcher. Sonny's back over at the Roberto. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan shark and in protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? 
I hear Sonny's a bit pissed at some mysterious coloured fella disrupting his business. Even went all the way down to the meat packing plant to wait for him. Coming through. Oh. Jesus Christ, open your eyes. Send someone to Point Verdun to pick up my cash. Be there soon. Need to Get make a safe. deposit, Chuck? Yes, sir. Part is, I just talked to Greco a couple days back. Dumb motherfucker didn't see it coming. And that's why this here is a perfect gig. Huh? How's it going? Interested. Goddamn, dear Luz. Yeah! Something over there. I ain't giving up that easy. The whole 
shake down. <laughs> My dog's gonna love violating your corpse. That fucker's mine! Then. He didn't just vanish. Got a lot of places to look. Got your attention now! Fucking stuck! Bring him! Not to the asshole. Get behind him! Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls.
Mr. Clay. <laughs> Good to have this back in our hands. Them WAP motherfuckers were making a right mess of the place. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company. Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I <laughs> just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up Ah, Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. It's all right. It's just Nicky. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call them out with a spotlight on the water tower. I'll load it up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I'll scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to Morton? Concerned. Ah, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. They're coming from the left! Watch out! How's your head feeling? 
feeling that, da? Oh, I feel like there's fucking fire ants crawling through me brain. Four bastards must be starving. Give him a hit on the left. Don't forget the little surprise I cooked up for those guinea fucks. <clears throat> Keep coming and I'll ram me fluke up your poobie. Keep coming and I'll ram me fluke up your poobie. Let me see your inside. Irish run the point now. Goddamn eggplants here, Joggy. Hey, I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mink alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Run up a cover. Should've saved a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up. Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left.
need some wheels. And Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Is that a Hot Wheels just like you ordered? Appreciate it. Who are we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be I. Right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> You know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying. We didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the Krauts and Nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious.
I got here is top of the line material. Ain't no better price than all. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was gonna go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in the newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times do we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did some folks come around and help us, white, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it, you know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I... I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life.
wanna bring more sausage? Boy, I ought to just invite your stupid <sighs> Shoot him! Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri? Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, you show up like Lazarus himself. Name thing in a May self. This chalky bastard is either. One of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived. Or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. <laughs> I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Lincoln it is, then. It was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we have to go out and inflict pain on someone else. 
A little man that was busted up in eight of us. But it doesn't, does it? No. It done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. Look where it fucking got me. It's the sense change it. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But a deal's a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> now. Excuse me. Oh, I have to go to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Explosions at the salvage yard? Shit's getting out of control. A gun? What good's that gonna do? I'd probably shoot myself in the foot. I'd never gamble with my own money, though. Yours? Sure. Whoever strung up that boy did. Newton Park got himself a sick sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> 